Brothers and sisters, greetings. I speak to you today about the book of Revelations and the prophecies that are coming true each and every day. From the time of Moses, the Torah code has been set in stone and only at the end of days has now been revealed. Daniel 12, 4 But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Now we are in the end of days, with the computer systems, software able to decipher. Rabbi Glazerson was the first to discover when the Messiah was due to return. Now you have seen the false prophets. You will now learn about the deception about the Roman Catholic Church and why Satan has deceived you through the Roman Catholic Church. 
Hey, Pope. Pope, hey, hey, come on, Pope, come over here for a second. Come, come over here, I'll, 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 I'll talk to you, Pope. <laughs> hey, Satan, how you doing today? Yeah, I'm okay. I, I, I got an idea. That that, 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 that Jesus fella, he's going to be coming around here pretty soon, you know? Yeah, 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 I've heard that. Yeah, he's, he's going to uh, come around soon. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, well you know, I, I, I got this idea. Let's... Let's let's just take that that Bible there and uh, do a little tweaking to it. Tweaking? What do you mean tweaking? What what do you mean? Well, uh, you know, they they think that that he's gonna come, but he's gonna come as a uh, a righteous guy and 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 gonna you know kick my butt and stuff like that. Yes, yes, yes. That's generally accepted. Well, well. Here's my thoughts on this. Let's let's say that first this evil guy is going to come. That's called the uh, I don't know Antichrist. There you go. How's that sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got that's kind of a ring to it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. So uh, an Antichrist is going to come first, and and we get all the the Christians to believe this, and that means when when Jesus comes, well they'll. <laughs> they, they'll think he's the Antichrist, and he won't follow him, and, you know, he'll get pissed off, and he'll, you know, you know, kick their ass. Hmm, you, 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 you got something there. That's, that's, that's really a, a pretty good idea. All right, well, that's, that's why I get paid the big money. Hey, anyway, so let's, let's kind of, like, put that somewhere in, uh, I don't know, somewhere in the back of the Bible there. You, you know, this, this sounds really good, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, though. What, what if he shows, what if he shows them the other scriptures and stuff? You know, the, 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 the real, real stuff. What, what if he exposes our, our, our lie? Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I, I got it. I got it. We'll, we'll say that if anybody comes speaking other gospels or, or tries to say something that you know we didn't put in there, uh, we're gonna say that's a sign of the Antichrist. We're gonna say that's the guy. <laughs> that, that, that's really some good stuff. I, I, I'm impressed. Uh, you should be. I mean, I, I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> hey, yeah. All right, all right. Uh, uh, you get the right and I'll, I'll get to doing whatever I do. Okay. Now we are in the latter days. End of days. Revelation. The final post is now installed. Benedict retired, but he'd already put his resignation in early. Then behold, the Messiah returned in 2011 in January on the Temple Mount.
You have got to be kidding. Blah, blah, blah. Go! You're a loser! You are really stupid. Yeah, right. Stupid idiot. Whatever. You're uglier than my duel. You bastard! You're such an idiot! But I, I'm loco! Yeah, like I'm scared. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I don't like you. They test me, Father. They mock me, hate me, when all I have done is offer them salvation. In two thousand years they have not changed. They are still the wicked, ungrateful children they always were. I know, Father, what you would have me do. That I should chastise them. So be it. America, you were once most favored in my eyes, but you have grown boastful, wicked, and haughty. Those of you who call yourself Christian, how have you demonstrated my love by accusing you? That is that why, is why. Regrettably, regrettably, I must, I must judge, judge you as well. As well. I, will I will return, return to you in measure, in measure that, that which you, you have, have done, done, done for me. me. Come out, Come out of Babylon, of Babylon or, or suffer the fate, the fate which, which will befall him. him. Gather, Gather to me to now, my now, children, my children, for the time, the time of your time redemption has come. My wrath is my wrath is great. My wrath is great. My wrath is great. My wrath is great. Large destructive tornado and on the southwest side of Joplin. I notify, notify, large tornado on the ground doing massive damage. Large tornado, it's a maxi wedge on the ground. It's tearing up the entire city on the south side of Joplin right now. This is Jeff Petrovsky and it's it's a massive tornado doing massive destruction.
To walk anywhere in Joplin, Missouri these days, and you find usually in this order destruction, sadness, shock, and daily minor miracles, like we found today when we came upon a small Baptist church. And when we arrived, they had just come across a great find. Where did you find it? Uh, some guys find it up inside on the pew where I left it. Isn't that something? What are the Sitting chances of that? Sitting right on the pew. Well, if nothing better happens in this whole thing, that's got to mean something. It does. Something terrifying took the South by surprise last night. No warning, 25 tornadoes striking in less than 24 hours, roaring through four states in the darkness. And this was the scene today in Alabama, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee, where entire neighborhoods were wiped out as families slept. At least two are dead, 100 injured. And we know that tornadoes peak in May or June, so no one could believe this is happening now in winter. ABC's Steve Osinsami in Alabama reports on the freakish, frightening new weather pattern. Steve. Good evening, Diane. It feels like we've been here before, and we have. The tornado that hit here last night destroyed some of the same homes that were hit the last go-round. And it feels like we've been here before, 
and we have the tornado that hit here last night destroyed some of the same homes that were hit the last go round. Families who lived here were lucky to get out alive. It was so terribly frightening. In the middle of the night, the sound of sirens sent families across Alabama out of their beds. And then came the sound of the tornado with wind speeds clocked at 150 miles an hour, faster than a high speed train. Right in front of us. Power twisting giant trees, flattening neighborhoods, and cutting a deadly path. It's a total destruction. If you live in the northern U.S. or Canada, you're in for what could be a heck of a light show tonight if you can stand the cold temperatures outside. Northern lights are expected to be visible as far south as Montana, Maine, upstate New York, perhaps the edges of Pennsylvania. The lights will be one byproduct of a massive solar flare that has triggered the strongest solar storm in more than six years. Waves of energy and radiation, because this happened a few days ago, they're just now getting here, are bombarding the planet Earth at four million miles an hour.
These are your chastisements. Rain. Wind. Hail. Tornado. Hurricane. Breaking news, deadly heat, the record-breaking wave of extreme weather, violent storms blamed for at least 17 deaths. A withering pasture in Arkansas, reservoirs gone dry, and cracked earth now being seen throughout much of the nation. More than a thousand counties have been declared natural disaster areas. The historic drought across the U.S. was our lead story here on the broadcast last night. Now that almost half the counties in the U.S. have been declared disaster areas. But just today, another serious consequence. With not enough water and no big rains in sight, the Mississippi River is now closed. This is America, land of the dry. Reservoirs evaporating, rivers barely moving. Farmland cracked and parched by a persistent, stubborn drought. Today, the U.S. Department of Agriculture reports almost half of all the nation's counties have been declared disasters because of this year's drought. Much of the West, Midwest, and Southeast bathed in red. Withering in the fields, the price of corn set a new high this week, but there's other trouble, too. 37% of the soybean crop is rated very poor to poor. 66% of the nation's hay fields are in drought. So is 73% of the cattle land. The nation in the grip of a triple threat, heat, drought, and wicked lightning storms. Here's the new heat wave bearing down, 15 states being warned about 100 degree temperatures and suffocating humidity. Add to that, 61% of the country is dry as a bone, the government announcing the worst drought since the 1950s. Repent to our Messiah. Thank you. 